The Business Guyana magazine, the brainchild of the Georgetown Chambers of Commerce and Industry, has for years served as an investor's guide to doing business in Guyana. The focus of this year's edition is on local sectors that are on the rise. President of the Chambers, Diodat Indar, told a gathering of business executives and government officials at the launch Thursday evening at the Pegasus Hotel that there are at least seven sectors that are promising to investors. These are the rice, credit for private investments, wholesale and retail, hospitality and tourism, education and standards, and real estate sectors. The business executive urged the relevant authorities, government and private sector, to work to develop strategies and policies to arrest the decline and stagnation in some economic sectors. The area of quarrying and mining, the financial services sector and the agricultural sector, especially in this, the sugar um, subsector, they have problems there. Though some of them have contracted, some of them have flatlined, and we have lost huge amount of jobs in the sugar uh, So we need to address those as a people. Those are challenges that we are confronted with, and we need to lock heads together and work together as one, because it affects all of us. Indar noted that while the booming oil and gas sector is currently the talk of the town, it must be developed in conjunction with other sectors of the economy. Oil and gas, when it comes, it will be so big, it will be the elephant in the room. But what we have to do as a country is to make sure the other sectors are surviving on the periphery, so that when oil and gas um, suffers from shocks, the others can able to profit them. That is diversification, investment diversification 101. Feature speaker Komal Samaru, who is the executive chairman of beverage giant Demerara Distillers Limited, known as DDL, spoke about the need for Guyana to develop its manufacturing sector. He noted that with Guyana's population of less than 1 million people, the local market is too small for the development of a vibrant manufacturing sector. We have to export. We have to export to markets in the region and markets in the international market space. The international market is very competitive, complex, and constantly changing, requiring in-depth knowledge, updated information. And if one is to be successful, particularly as you move up the higher value chain, you have to be equipped with the updated intelligence and market data to respond to those changes. The business magazine is organized around investment, private sector development, trade and foreign relations, entrepreneurship and Guyana's overall development. It also includes question and answer segments from prominent business executives. Davina Samaru, Newsroom.